As you may or may not already know, Native Instruments has confirmed that Machine 3.0 is happening. And a lot of people have been asking me for a long time about the new software or new hardware. So is there going to be an MK4 or a new version of the Machine Plus? Let's talk about it. It's John T. Boy. Okay, guys, we're not going to spend too much time on this topic because I want to get this out quick. I've been dying to talk about this ever since they announced it and confirmed it. The machine 3.0 is happening. And I remember in my video where I was talking about is the machine micro machine MK3 or even the plus is even worth it in this year at this day and age. And I said, yes, so many people beg to differ. One guy commented that even though Native Instruments took so long to update the software, it was too late to happen. I mean, and I was like, man, it, it's never too late. Yeah, you might be far behind, but it's better to be late than never, right? As us machine users, it's never too late. Yeah, there might be other brands where they have their own devices, their own MIDI controllers, their own interfaces, their own software, their own DAWs, and they're up to par with today's technology. But just because Native Instruments is far behind doesn't necessarily mean that it's too late for them. It's better to be late than never. I'd rather take my chances to be late than not do it at all. Now, before I speak about the new features from this software update, I did ask Native Instruments if I could speak on it on their behalf because some people spoke too soon. So there's a, a reliable source. I think it's called Music Radar, and he spoke on what Native Instruments has recently dropped. So let's speak on that right quick. Native Instruments discontinues machine MK1 and MK2, but new machine software is on the way with stem separation and more. I already knew they discontinued the first two machines, but uh, some people believe that they were still selling, but you got to go through third parties in order to get the, the old school hardware. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Let's see what we got here. Native Instruments has announced that it will be ending software support for several older versions of its pad controller machine, discontinuing the products in order to focus on the development of new machine software. Both Machine MK1 and MK2 and Machine Micro MK1 and MK2 will be retired and owners of these devices will not be able to update them with new machine software or receive technical support from November 6 onwards. Really, that's a bummer. I mean, I can understand, you know, that they, they can't be updated, but if people are still using it because either they want to or they probably can't afford to get the latest software update or the latest hardware allegedly like it's just like apple if you have an old school iphone like hypothetically speaking iphone 3g 3gs 4 4s 5 and we all know those older devices are not compatible with the latest ios but if you take your phone to the apple store and go to the genius bar they will still help you with it they'll be like i don't know if they might be able to replace the battery for you or replace the screen for you like a crack screen they, at some point they will try to help you make some some kind of repair hardware or software they're willing to work with you on that but with native instruments they said they're not doing any support whatsoever with older devices it's their policy so it is what it is they will however be able to continue using their devices with the machine to software exactly that's what i was thinking but i don't think that they'll be able to use the, the new machine software as operating systems advance and we work on keeping our software up to date and by adding new features, aging hardware requires an increasing amount of attention. This takes away focus from our development teams and put limitations on the changes we can make to the software without breaking legacy hardware integrations. As a result, we have decided to retire the earliest versions of machine hardware that originally shipped with machine one so that we can make some bigger changes to machine software in the future. New features will include stem separation, per scene tempo adjustment, MIDI editing workflow improvements, and integration with Control S Series MK3. Finally, bars. And this is what I was allowed to show you guys. Uh, this is the beta version. Um, it looks almost the same, it's just that it has a darker theme to it. And it might look a little different than this as soon as the full version comes out. 
it's going to come with new features i'm excited for it one thing i wish they would do something similar to fs studio is to make the the piano roll full screen yeah so i mean there's a lot of things that people would like native instruments to do to the machine software and who knows they're probably listening and eventually they're going to add it just like i told this gentleman that hey i still have faith it's going to work out you just got to be patient patience is a virtue it looks quite the same so we'll see as soon as it drops we'll see exactly what it's made out of see if it's anything different and see if it makes it better and make our workflow much more enjoyable and they also say it's gonna come with a new content library, Machine Central, that features 128 multi-sample instruments and 70 drum kits. I'm excited for it. And here's the question I've been getting a lot lately that people have been asking me. Will there be a new Machine MK4 or a new version of the Machine Plus? Or even the Machine Micro? I can't tell you that because I don't know. I honestly don't know, but hey, I'm hoping they might come out with some new hardware. They might come out with a new version of all three devices, including the Machine Jam, which I never used before. And people have been asking for years, when are they going to come out with a new updated version of it? Mm, I don't know, but it's possible. And, and I also have a good, very good feeling that this is the, this is less than what they're telling us. So there's a lot more in the works. I'm pretty sure of it. I mean, this is just my opinion. This is what I think. But wait, who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. And I can't remember exactly what Bolo the producer said from his video. Shout outs to him. He said that uh, it's going to cost a little extra just to update to the new software. And I don't know exactly how much it costs. I don't know how much it'll initially cost, but I think it'll sound fair if it costs like like 40 bucks or 50 bucks at least. But I don't know. It might might cost a little bit more. I'm not so sure. But hey, you do what you got to do. Do what you believe is best for yourself. If you don't want to buy it, that's completely up to you. You guys let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this situation here. Um, I'm really excited. Some people might not be too happy, but it is what it is. I mean, you can't please everybody. But as a machine user, I think this will be best for me and a lot more people out there. I want to see what you guys have to say. But once again, it's your boy, John T. I'm signing off. You guys have a good one. I love you. God loves you more. Stay blessed. And peace out.